So my hope is that um, the next generation is far more humane than the generation is today. I personally feel that we have uh, made the world too commercial. Uh, everything for us is driven by economic interest and economic profit. I really hope that the future generation is far more inclusive, it is more humane. It is similar to how our forefathers left this world for us. To me, break the bias means, first of all, being aware of what your own biases are. Each one of us um, have biases, but it's very important that we are aware of where these biases are actually stemming from. And in what context do these biases become a reality for us? And for me, if we are aware of our own biases and if you know how to deal with them, then to me that is breaking the bias. Uh, I've been fortunate to have some in very, very good uh, females around me in my entire life. I'm fortunate to work with uh, very strong female colleagues and I get inspired given how well they're able to balance their work life and their personal life as well. I also get inspired by my sisters. I've got two sisters and I see them quite closely because they're part of my family of uh, how inspiring they are in terms of managing and juggling their personal life again with their uh, work life. And most importantly, my three daughters. You know, it's just amazing to see how caring they are and every, and every time I come home, I get pampered and that inspires me. So I've been fortunate to be surrounded by lovely women always. I'm Farhan Syed. I'm a partner and head of advisory for Middle East, uh, South Asia and Lower Gulf. I'm also fortunate to be the executive sponsor and leader of our inclusion, diversity and equality program.